PHP 8.0 has reached its end of life. So let's look at how you can test to see if your site's ready to be bumped up to a higher PHP level. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 278 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, build them, maintain them, migrate them to Joomla 4, update them to Joomla 5. If you're looking to hire someone short-term or long-term, or even just get you out of a spot, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, and let's talk. Okay, there really is no risk in seeing if your site runs on a higher PHP version, except in a very rare case where your web host may have told you that if you switch to a higher PHP level, you can't drop down to one that is end of life. I know of one person whose host did that. They could not switch to test because if they tested and it failed, they weren't allowed to switch back down. So they actually ended up buying some hosting from me so they could test some different things before they did that. Other than that, basically it's like trying on a shirt at the store. You try it on. If it fits, great. If it doesn't fit, you take it off, put your old shirt back on. No harm, no foul. So let's take a look at how to do that with our Joomla sites. All right, so as you will see here from this endoflife.date website, PHP 8.0 was end of life on November the 26th, 2023. All right, now actually 8.1 is only in uh, active support has ended and its security support ends in 12 months on November 25th. But 8.0 8 is gonzo. So what we want to do first of all is log into the back end of the site. We want to try in a different PHP. Now this site here I've created, I put a super, super, super old version of Jom Social that I found on my hard drive. I know it's going to fail. But Jom Social is fine, I am sure, on the higher PHP levels. But this is like way, way, way old. All right, so here's our test site here. We go into the back end of the site. We go to system and global configuration. We're gonna do two things here. We're going to turn on debug system and we're going to under the system tab and then on server, we're going to turn error reporting to maximum and then we are going to save. Now, one other thing you might have to set on your web hosting is to turn on display errors for the PHP version that you're going to test. In this case, we're going to be testing on PHP 8.1, and I have a place in my control panel where I can turn that on if it's not on. Now, let's just quickly go back to the site before we change PHP versions and refresh, because I want you to see that you might suddenly have some messages even before changing to the different PHP. So here's a deprecated message. You might also get a warning or a notice. And these are messages telling you that something in this current version of PHP might not work in a higher version of PHP. They're going to be ended up, but without error reporting turned on, these messages are still happening and being collected in your log file on your install. All right, now let's go to my host and control panel for this site here. And I'm going to up here, search for PHP. And you know, it's gonna vary for your web hosting how you do this, but I go down to multi PHP manager and I'm going to check the J3 core.basicjoomla.com. You see right now it's running on 7.4 and we are going to change it to 8.1 by applying. Now on my server, when I go back to view the page and refresh right away, I get a 503 error. It's just because Apache is restarting on my server. So I wait a little bit and then I refresh and try again. And uh oh, the site is broken. Now there's deprecated messages. There's a few more, but look, here's what we're really looking at, fatal error. And because we have error reporting turned on, and debugging turned on, we can see that the error here is in plugins, system, Azrael system, PC includes ajax.php. So that gives us a clue that, well, first of all, it says the site is not ready for that version of PHP, but we also could go and look and see where that plugin is in our install and figure out maybe what we can do. Do we need that plugin? Should we alert the programmer or the developer that that plugin is not working? 
But, you know, the thing that we need to do right now is go back to PHP, the PHP manager in the hosting, and select the same site, j3corebasicjoomla.com, and let's switch that back to where it was, PHP 7.4. All right, so that's been applied. We go back to our home page here. We refresh. And we get lots more deprecated messages than before. Not quite sure what's happening with that. But now we can at least go into the back end and we can go to air reporting, go none, system, debug, turn that off. And now our page is back to where we were. Now remember it was the Azrael plugin. That gives us a chance to look and see where that is. Let's go to extensions, manage, and manage, because we're in Joomla 3, we will search for A-Z-R-U-L, and there it is, Azrael System Manbot for Joomla, it, oh, it's the job social one, but look, it's from 2011. I told you it was super old version. And that is how to test your Joomla site in a PHP version higher than 8.0. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless.